Hi, this is Hernando. I am going to demonstrate how uh, Final Cut Pro works on this um, Mac clone computer. Um, as I explained on the earlier video, uh, this computer is uh, slightly uh, less powerful as the, com as the computer that we're actually selling on eBay. Um, this is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, quad core uh, computer in, uh, with uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, the video card is a, an NVIDIA GeForce 7600 GS with uh, only 256 megabytes of RAM. Um, the computer that we're selling uh, on, on the eBay uh, auction is uh, an NVIDIA GeForce 9800 GT with uh, 512 megabytes of RAM. So this is considerably more powerful uh, than what you're about to, uh, th than the computer you would be actually getting. Uh, so without further ado, let's just try Final Cut Pro. So let's launch it. Uh, now this video is only uh, showing part of my screen. Uh, uh, just as, you know, in order for clarity, I want to be able to um, just squeeze everything into into the screen so you can see what I'm trying to do. Now I warn you, I'm not an expert, uh, you know, video editor, um, but I have a couple of clips here that are. Uh, uh, no, I don't have file. Okay, these co these couple clips are uh, in you know a DV resolution, 720 by 480, um, which I have captured. Uh, the roughly about a gig uh, uh, each uh, each clip. So the first clip that I'm going to drag in here is of a shark, di uh, shark dive that I did in Cayman Islands um, a while back. Um, let me scroll to the beginning here somewhere. In the, oh, let me close this slug because it's covering the, the other window. Here it is. So if I just click here, uh, I can see some of my dive is not very professional video, but uh, you know something that I did for fun. So I'm gonna put this on pause, and I'm gonna drag another video uh, on top of this one. Uh, now this video is of a some, some 3D modeling that I did for a, a client of mine uh, so a while back. So I'm going to then, you know, here create some transitions, say here, put here one here. Uh, I'm going to move the clip down, drag it to zero. I don't want to make the transition too long, or maybe we can, we can make it maybe a little long. Maybe let's make a transition of... few seconds longer uh, so you can get to see what it looks like so I'm gonna back up a little bit actually let me slide over the video so you can actually, actually I'm gonna slide it over here um, and let me hit play this was actually a very exciting moment in my shark dive but here we go, so now it's playing. And as you can see, it's getting to the part where the second video is going to come in. Uh, that was a cut that I had in the, in the shark dive, but here's in a moment or two, the new videos should start to fade in. Not a very good edit, but you know, to get the idea. So let me let me throw a couple more points in here. And 
let's back up a little bit. But this time I'm actually gonna, let's look at the video at 100%. Uh, I'm gonna try to move it to the middle of the screen, make it a little bit larger so that it fits the whole thing. You know, I'm gonna queue it up a little bit better. You know what, I'm going to actually slide this baby over a little bit, slide all these points over so that the transition's actually in a, in a portion where, um, so that it's in a portion where there's actual animation movement on both, um, on both parts. Come on, baby, better some in here. Okay, something like that. So I'll move this video back in here. And let's pre-roll and let's just hit play. So it should be making a transition any second now into the other video. So rendering I, I did about five years ago, so it's dated already. There you go, should be fading back into the sharks. Come on, baby go. There are the sharks again. Um, but as I said, this is how Final Cut Pro works on a computer that is, you know, slightly less uh, as good as the computer you would actually be getting if you were to purchase. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much. Bye-bye.